Hello and welcome to this YouTube presentation by Teacher's Notes. In this short presentation, I'm going to show how to uh, set yourself up to live stream a lesson. So this is for teachers who wish to use YouTube Live to live stream a lesson to their students. And this uh, presentation focuses on how to set that up and how to share that with your students so they're ready for your live stream. So, uh, first of all, what you'll need to do is when you uh, log on to your YouTube account and then you head up to the left hand corner and you'll click on that and then it will give you a choice to upload or go live. Now, if you've not gone live before, if you've not done a live stream before, it will ask you to verify your account and you'll need a phone number to do that. So. Um, it's important that you set that up in advance before you live stream because it does actually take 24 hours. So after you've submitted the verification, you Google, uh, YouTube takes 24 hours before you can actually start streaming. So you'll need to do that first. Uh, once you've done that, you can then go ahead and go live. So here we see I have my go live. Okay, click on that, it just takes a minute or so. Right, okay. So you need to uh, create a title for you. So I will be um, what, calling my lesson Monday's English lesson. Okay, then you decide whether you want it to be public or unlisted. So I always use unlisted and then I share the link with my students. It means all my students can access uh, the video can see the live stream however it means um, the general public cannot access it so i do that for um, you know, privacy and security reasons the next section very very important to fill out is more options so add your description so i always add my description here a summary of what the lesson uh, will cover and also anything the students will need so here we go Okay, so there you go, they're the uh, five points that I think my students need. So for today's lesson you'll need, so they'll need a pencil and notebook, so make sure they have that ready before the video starts. Uh, then explain what's gonna happen, they're gonna watch a YouTube video about Greek myths. Then they'll need to log into Google Classroom, uh, write up a summary of the myth they watched and submit their work via Google Classroom. And I'm also gonna add the link here to the video that we are going to watch and it's uh, about Pandora's box. So here we have it. Yeah, that's the video I'm going to have them watch. So I'm just going to put the link into the description so the students can access it and there's no uh, questions about where the, which video it is I want them to watch. Of course, once the live stream starts, I will explain all this, but I always think it's good to have a rough outline of the lesson before you start so students can uh, know what to anticipate and in case any of them are a little bit late or logging on or they have some problem with the video or some problem with their connection, they still have all the information there. Okay, so let's just check. We have the title, we have it unlisted, we have the guidelines. Okay, uh, all the other settings are fine. Okay, after that, you need to click next and it will take a, the webcam will take a photograph, which will then serve as your thumbnail. So here we are.
So there you can see that uh, beautiful picture of myself. However, I am going to use a custom thumbnail instead. So um, yeah, I prepared this earlier. So if you're not happy with the uh, image that the webcam has taken, you can change it to another image. So there you go. So that's all ready to go. So I have my description. I have my um, thumbnail all set up. What you have to do now is click on share. And this is very, very important. And there you have the link. Now that is the link that your students will need to find your live stream. So I'm just going to copy that. And then what you will then do is, however you uh, communicate with your students, whether it's by email or by Google Classroom or Twitter or whatever you use, you'll need to then send that to your students in advance. And let's just show what happens when we put that in. So you'll send that, this link to your students. The students will click on that link. And this here is what they'll see. Yeah. So they'll see video there about to run and if you scroll down you'll also see the description as well so the students will know okay I need my pencil and pen I'm gonna watch a video I have the link to that there and everything's set up for them ready to study okay well I do hope that has been useful this has been teachers notes with a presentation on how to set up a live stream class using YouTube live if you've enjoyed it uh, please do click like on our video and subscribe for more future videos and you can also leave comments in the section below thank you very much